In March of 1982, General Efrian Rios Montt came to power in Guatemala through a coup. One month later, the general launched a scorched earth operation against the country's Maya population. Over the next 17 months of his reign, over 400 villages of Maya people were massacred. Those 17 months were the bloodiest time period in the years that later became known as the Silent Holocaust, or more simply, as the Guatemalan Genocide. Genocide is the deliberate killing of a large number of people with intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. According to the United Nations, genocide can also mean deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. Why do genocides occur? Genocides are typically a result of scapegoating. One particular group is targeted and viewed as a common enemy or problem. Perpetrators of genocide participate in acts of genocide because they believe they are right in doing so. They believe that committing these horrific acts will better themselves or their cause in some capacity. In the case of Guatemala, the genocide began during the long-lasting civil war, which had been raging since the 1960s. In 1980, the government instituted Operation Sophia, which sought to undermine the anti-government movement by terrorizing or killing civilians that were accused or suspected of supporting the insurgents. The people they terrorized was a specifically targeted group, the Maya. Why were the Maya targeted? Genocide is almost always committed against a minority group or a particularly vulnerable group. Those groups are des designated as other, creating an us versus them mentality. The Jews were deemed the other in Germany and therefore they were targeted. The Tutsi were othered in Rwanda and thus they were targeted. In Guatemala, the Maya were a particularly vulnerable population. Although they were, in fact, the majority of Guatemala's population, they were an underprivileged group. This was a deep-seated issue dating back to the 16th century. When Spanish explorers conquered Guatemala, the Maya became slaves in their own land. In the time period after they were conquered, the Mayans began participating in protests against their oppressive government, demanding equality and inclusion. The Maya's long history as the repressed group meant that they became the other to the Guatemalan government, and a brutal genocide began in 1980. In the three years from 1980 to 1983, the Guatemalan army destroyed 626 Mayan villages, slaughtered over 200,000 Maya, and displaced between 500,000 and 1.5 million Maya. Additionally, the government instilled a scorched earth policy they burned Mayan buildings and crops, and killed livestock. In 1999, the UN-sponsored Historical Clarification Commission concluded that the Guatemalan army had committed massacres, human rights violations, and other atrocities against Mayan communities that illustrated a government policy of genocide. How can we prevent genocides like the Guatemalan genocide? We must recognize the problem of genocide. Then, we must understand the reasons for committing genocide, and we need to understand the systems in place that allow genocide to occur. Finally, as a global community, we need to agree that we must urgently act to stop current genocides and prevent future genocides.